To clear up any misinformation, here's a quick explanation of the Medicaid situation in Virginia and why Medicaid must be passed through the budget this year. The Affordable Care Act was passed to help all Virginians receive access to health care. That happens in two major ways. If you are between 100% and 400% of the federal poverty line, you are eligible for subsidies from the federal government to purchase coverage through the online exchange. If you fall below 100% of the federal poverty line, the Affordable Care Act allows for the expansion of Medicaid to ensure everyone is covered. The Supreme Court ruled that largely ACA was constitutional, but the federal government could not mandate to the states to expand Medicaid, which is a state-run program partially funded by the federal government. So it was up to each state to decide if and how to extend coverage to everyone under 100% of the federal poverty line. Virginia has one of the strictest Medicaid eligibility programs in the country. While there are a variety of qualification thresholds, the median income qualification maxes out at about 40% in the state of Virginia, leaving everyone between 40% and 100% of the federal poverty line in the Medicaid donut hole, meaning a single parent working full-time at minimum wage uh, makes too much to qualify for Medicaid and too little to qualify for the federal online exchange subsidies. Every major stakeholder is for Medicaid expansion, even the Republicans in the Senate. The only ones holding out are the Republicans in the House of Delegates. Why? Two major reasons. Number one, they want to raise money bashing Obama's health care plan. And number two, they're worried about right-wing challengers in the primaries next year. It's all politics. You might have heard the rumor that expanding Medicaid will actually save Virginia money. It's true. Virginia spends hundreds of millions of dollars every year for health care programs such as indigent care for the poor, which would be covered mostly by the federal government under Medicaid expansion. Currently, Medicaid is funded at about 50% by the state and 50% by the federal government. But those covered under expansion would never cost the state more than 10% leaving more funds available for law enforcement, economic development, and our schools. The Republicans in the Senate even offered a compromise because the federal government allows for states to customize their expansion if they don't want to expand the actual Medicaid program. The Senate offered a compromise called Marketplace Virginia. And again, everyone is supportive except for our Republican friends in the House. No compromise, no Medicaid, no alternative solution, no, no, no. So the new political strategy for the Republicans in the House of Delegates is to lobby for the separation of the Medicaid debate from the passage of the budget, knowing that this will effectively kill any chance for Medicaid expansion this year. How can we separate something that impacts over 20% of our budget? What about all of the people waiting on us to act? What about all of the savings? The House Republican budget this year cuts from our schools, economic development, and law enforcement just to help fund our health care priorities, masking the real fact that Virginia needs the savings for Medicaid expansion. It's all connected. We can't separate Medicaid from the budget because it's one of the largest parts of our budget. Don't be fooled by the political games. The stakes are too high. Let's come together and find a real compromise to help all Virginians.